told you. Have I ever told you that one of my favorite things to do is go fishing? I like it because it's exciting and yet it's relaxing at the same time. Many of Jesus' disciples liked fishing and Jesus told them in Matthew 4.19, Come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. How exciting is that? We get to be fishers of men that can help bring other people into God's kingdom. So what does it mean to follow Jesus and how can we do that during lockdown? Well, the Bible tells us that we can get to know him and follow him by reading his word, coming into a relationship with him, talking with him, praying, listening to worship music. These are all practical steps we can take while we're stuck at home. How about you go and try it this week? This week we are going to learn what it means to follow Jesus. And part of that is following the instructions that he gives us. Following instructions, we get our instructions from the Bible and we get instructions from his voice. Do you guys know how to follow instructions? Today I will make you slime. This is Boy Dye and in Good. This is acid and this is eyes. All right, here we got our instruments. Okay, so we need 50 mils of warm water. Then we add our boric acid. Wow. You want to mix that around? Me? Yep. Where are we going this morning? Mackers. Mackers. We're going to Mackers. In order to get to Mackers, we need to follow our slime. <laughs> <laughs> follow our slime. We need to follow our map. So our map is going to give us instructions on how to get to Maccas. Kingston is going to hold the map and he's going to tell me how to get to Maccas. Okay, here we go. So straight. Take the next right onto Rossiter Road. Keep going that way. What's left or right? I oh. can't tell if what? that's left or right. We're going to be nearly there. Yeah. 600 meters, turn left onto Coldermead. Uh, Coldermead. Coldermead. There! There it is! We made it! You're a spy with no nose. We made it! No. So, did we follow the instructions? Yep! And we made it! Yay! Yay. You know how we follow the instructions to make slime? We followed instructions on our maps to find Maccas. There are lots of ways that we follow instructions every day. And it's the same with God. God gives us instructions. And when we follow those instructions, that is how we follow Jesus. And he might give you these instructions in different ways. The Bible gives us instructions. And sometimes Jesus speaks to us personally and gives us instructions of what to do. And it's really important that we follow those instructions. And he speaks to us differently. And we're going to hear some other stories from some other people who have followed Jesus's instructions. Hi guys, Eli here. I hope you're well. I just want to share how we have a God that wants to talk to us. So it's important for us to listen, such that when God told Noah to build an ark, so him and his family and the animals would be safe. He even talks to us now, anytime, night, day, at home, at school. One time he talked to me at work and told me to ask if one of my co-workers were okay. And I did, I don't know why, but at the end, that co-worker felt that they were hurt and someone cared about them. So remember, it's important for us to listen to God because he knows what he's doing, he's God. One day when everyone was out of the house and it was only me, Jesus was telling me to clean up the house and make it look beautiful for when everyone comes back home. And so when I did that and obeyed in, in his word, and when they came back home, it was nice and lovely that everyone was happy. Um, very scary movies and God told me not to watch them. And the, the Holy Spirit came down and told me not to watch them at all, that they're not good for me. And I got rid of all of them. And that was by God telling me that not to watch them. 
I remember a time when I was a little girl, I was in the kitchen and Jesus was telling me, get your brother a drink of water. Now at the time I thought this was silly. Why would Jesus tell me to get my brother a drink of water? And so I brushed it off and thought, no, I'm not going to do that. Well, then the Holy Spirit started poking my heart and giving me a nudge saying, hey, it's me. I want you to get your brother a drink of water. And so I listened and I got my brother a drink of water. He said, thanks. And that was it. Now at the time, nothing big happened, but sometimes this is what Jesus does. He gives us little instructions to begin with so that we get to know what his voice sounds like. God's story. Peter fishes for men. So part of God's story is about a guy named Peter, and it goes like this. Actually, hold it right there. Peter's real name was Simon. He lived in a place called Capernaum where he had a wife and worked as a fisherman. Simon was just a normal guy, but his life was about to change forever. See, Simon was fishing one day, like usual, when Jesus got into Simon's boat. He taught some people who were standing around. Then he said to Simon, go out into deep water. Let down your net so you can catch some fish. Simon had been fishing all night without catching anything. The last thing he wanted to do was go back out into deep water. But since Jesus told him to do it, Simon obeyed even though it didn't make any sense. And guess what? He and all the other fishermen caught so many fish that their boats began to sink. When Simon finally got back to the shore, he fell to his feet in front of Jesus. He realized Jesus was not just a great teacher. He was God's son and the rescuer God had promised. Jesus said, don't be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. Jesus wanted Simon to know that now that he knew who Jesus was, he could tell other people who Jesus was too. In fact, Jesus gave Simon a new name, Peter. It means rock, because Jesus would use Peter to build his church. Sometimes we think of a church as a building, but really, it's people who follow Jesus. And just like we might use rocks to build a church building, Peter was one of the very first people to follow Jesus and show others how to follow him too. And that's part of the story of Peter. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Simon was a normal guy. He lived in Capernaum. He was a fisherman. He met Jesus. Jesus told him to go to deep water. Simon obeyed. He caught fish. He realized Jesus was God's son. Jesus said Peter could tell others about Jesus. He called Simon Peter. And that's a part of God's story. We got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Way down in my heart. Way down in my heart. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Way down in my heart to stay. I am so happy, so very happy. I got the love of Jesus in my heart. I am so happy, so very happy. I got the love of Jesus in my heart.
Fruit of the Spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the Spirit's not a coconut. Want to be a coconut? You might as well hear it. You can't be the fruit of the Spirit. Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, breakfast, generous, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the Spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the Spirit's not a watermelon. You want to be a watermelon. You might as well hear it. You can't be the fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, breakfast, generous, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of spirit's not a banana. The fruit of spirit's not a banana. You want to be a banana. You might as well hear it. You can't be the fruit of the spirit. Because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, goodness faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. You wanna be a lemon? You might as well hear. You can't be the fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, generous and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, generous and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. You want to be a cherry? You might as well hear it. You can't be the fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, generous, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, generous, and self control. Hey, everybody knows that grapes come in bunches. Everybody get in big bunches. The fruit of the spirit is not a grape. The fruit of the spirit is not a grape. You want to be a grape. You might as well hear it. You can't be the fruit of the spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Bye! So, you wanna be a superhero? You wanna smash bad guys? I just saw it eating. So, no, nah. oh, I'm eating. I do. <laughs> I hope that you, weekly like you, gonna be a superhero. I'll make you a superhero. Follow me. This is the best! Give me an apple! This is the only one I have! Cup it all up! This is the only one I have! Cup it all up! I'm fine! Still! Oh. Give it! I wish I was like Batman right now! What in the kid? 
Wonder Woman? You little weight blade. Oh yeah, Wonder Punch! Amazing garden. Uh, uh, Today uh, we're just uh, repotting because it's coming up to spring. And so we need to make sure that our plants are staying nice and healthy and that they're getting lots of water. So we bought them outside to get a bit of fresh air so they're not sick, cooped up in my room all day. But do you guys know what day is coming up soon? Mm. Hmm. I think it's Father's Day coming up soon. Oh. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you guys getting for your dads for Father's Day? Nothing. <laughs> he's got our love. That's yeah. what he's got. Yeah. That's what he's getting. It's all he and needs. Our love, of course. Our amazing love is all he ever needs. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We're just kidding. I think a good thing for Father's Day, because it's locked down and we can't really get in much stuff, what about a nice breakfast in bed? Some nice bacon and eggs, maybe some mm. curry if you're going for like a real, you know, fancy breakfast. <laughs> or you could make him, you know, some coupons. Zara? Do a scavenger hunt around the house. The coupon. Make him a card. Yeah, make him a card. You can make him a poster. You can make him a, you can draw him a picture if you really want to. Draw a picture of him and you. Yeah. Pot a plant for him. Give him a massage for half an hour. Deb. That's your job. That's not His what I'm feet. doing. That's yeah. No. That's yeah. what no. Dad, that's what she's getting you for Father's yeah. Day. That's what she's doing for you. I'm and not here. Here is done. Yep. <laughs> Even though we're in lockdown, we hope your fathers have an amazing day and with whatever you have planned for them. Now, I pray for all the fathers out there for, the, for Father's Day coming up. And I hope you all have an amazing day. The three amigos out. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of kids church today i hope that you guys enjoy it i'm going to pray for you before we go father i thank you for all the children that are watching this today lord i pray that you teach them how to listen to the sound of your voice lord and how to follow you god and i pray that throughout the week as you speak to them more and more god that their ears are open and that they will learn what your voice sounds like and continue to listen to your instructions we pray that as they go into their week that you go before them and you keep them safe in jesus name amen bye